Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, classical report events. And in the previous videos, so far we covered three events. One is initialization, add selection screen and start of selection. Now we will move on to our next event and our next event is end of selection. Now end of selection word itself is saying when your selection process ends sap automatically call the event end of selection have you seen i am using the word sap automatically call the event end of selection We'll go for simple understanding because as of now, we all know very, very well event requires a action or it will trigger automatically. Suppose we covered add selection screen event. At that time, we perform action on the selection screen. We cover start of selection at that time, we click on to execute button. We performed the action. But now the event which we are covering now, end of selection, it does not require a user action. It will trigger automatically when the selection process ends. When there is a time, when the time comes, that the selection process ended, this event will trigger automatically because we are very, very clear now, event trigger by two things. Either it will be by user action or it will trigger automatically when a time or situation has been reached. In case of end of selection, user will not do any action. We will not do any action. Whenever the time is reached that selection process ended, this event will trigger automatically. Now, what is the benefit of this event? With the help of this event, we can identify the end of data or records. So whenever our data has been ended, when our records has been ended, one event will trigger automatically. That event is called as end of selection. Suppose I have 1000 records. So after processing the 1000 record, whenever 1000 records has been ended, one event will trigger automatically. That is end of selection event. Now what I will do? I will go for the system and we will write some logic for the end of selection event. So I will write end of selection. The keyword is end of selection. Now I will simply write a write statement. Suppose we will print a write statement. Write. Suppose I will write end of records. I'm just simply writing a write statement. But it's the best practice we all know very, very well. This thing should not be hard code in one language, English language. You should always, always use the text symbol. Suppose I will use the text symbol. Go to text element, text symbol. Because we should always, always follow the best practices. Suppose I am saying 0, 0, 0, end of records. I will activate. Now, rather than writing end of records in one language, I will write text hyphen 0, 0, 0. Because we already covered this practice. So, yes, we should follow. I'll check the syntax and I will activate that. So as a part of end of selection event, we are simply, simply printing a write statement 
we are simply printing a information and off records. Now, in terms of event, writing the logic is not important. Understanding the logic, understanding the flow of the program is very important. So I will put a breakpoint. I will put a breakpoint on initialization event, add selection screen, start of selection, end of selection. So I put a breakpoint on all the four events. I will run the program. Firstly, which event called initialization? It will assign the default values to order date. Suppose I'm going for payment mode C, correct value. I'm not going for any action. Sorry, I'm not going for enter. Okay, I'm simply clicking on to this execute button. We all know whenever I will click on to execute button, firstly, add selection screen will call. It will validate the input. So you can see, firstly, add selection screen call. It validated the input. Input is correct. When the input is correct, now it is going to start of selection event. Our selection process started. Yes, if we have a correct input, it means we should start the selection process based upon correct input. So we gave the order date. We gave the payment mode. Currency we have not given. So this is the order date which we gave. Yes, this is by default value of order date. This is the payment mode which we gave. We gave C. Currency is blank. We have not given any value to the currency. Based upon these three input, it will fetch data from order header table and data will come into this internal table. As of now, internal table has how many record? Zero. I will execute this query using F6. So we have two records in the internal table in red. So this loop will continue how many times? Two times. Just see. Firstly, we are processing first record. Side tab X is one. Now we are processing second record. So all two records processed. Now there is no further record to process. So end of record is reached end of data is reached. So SAP automatically trigger which particular event end of selection. Have you seen? We have not done any action. A situation triggered, a time has been reached where all data or records has ended. So SAP automatically come on to which event end of selection. Now suppose I am doing F6. Now you can see I'm on which particular event now, end of selection. And it triggered automatically. We have not done any action at all. SAP automatically identified and triggered this event, end of selection. And we got the message, end of records. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we covered the event, end of selection. So at what time this event will call? When your selection process ended. When our all records and data has been processed. After that, which event is calling end of selection. The main important point about this event is it does not require any action. It will trigger automatically when the records has been processed. Whenever all data has been ended, this event triggers automatically. In the next video, we will cover next classical report event. Thank you.